Hey Internet, Eric here. Well, it's Sunday, and if it's Sunday and I'm doing a video, you know it's Bloody Sunday. Uh, what that is, it's a concept where you take a death from a specific movie, TV show, any type of media, what have you, and you make a video about it, discussing it. And uh, it's Independence Day week. You know, today is the third as of this recording, and I have stuff planned, God willing, uh, for the sprinkled threat throughout this, uh, this entire week up until Saturday. And with it being Bloody Sunday and a death, I didn't want to discuss Independence Day, you know what I mean? Um, so I went the route of it not being July 4th related, but America related. And not just America, but the, the in-your-face type of America, America. And who is more American than that? Bruce Willis. So the death I'm going to discuss from uh, for Bloody Sunday is from the movie Armageddon. Now, obviously, you know, lots of people die. Obviously, if uh, you haven't seen this movie for some reason, I'm discussing plot spoilers and specific scenes, and if I'm discussing a death, you know there's a major spoiler here. Um, so you've got your chance to turn this off and go watch the movie. Anyway, the death I'm going to discuss today will be Harry's death, Bruce Willis. Now, if you haven't seen this movie, or at least heard of it, because it was fucking everywhere, especially after that uh, Aerosmith song, um, basic plot of this is a giant asteroid is going to crash into Earth. We're all going to die. Bruce Willis and his ragtag team of oil drillers are sent up to the, the uh, asteroid to drill a hole into it and drop a nuclear warhead in it so it will blow up and save us all. Okay, well, it's the end of the film, pretty much. Um... Half of Harry's team is dead. Like I said, Harry is played by Bruce Willis. And um, everybody's gone. They're, they're getting ready to leave. And they have to leave now for a chance to possibly get home to Earth uh, quickly. And someone has to, but someone has to stay on the asteroid to hit the trigger and blow it up. Of course, it being Bruce Willis, Bruce Willis has got to be the ultimate hero. He sends Ben Affleck away, Michael Clark Duncan, you know, uh, everybody who is not Bruce Willis, is on the ship going home. And Bruce is up there, and it's such an emotional scene, such an amazing action-packed scene, because shit's happening. Uh, this, the asteroid's getting closer and closer to Earth. He has a certain amount of time to hit the button before, you know, for it to not, you know, because remember, when it blows up, you're still going to have little fragments, and, and it's going to split into big two chunks, or two big chunks, and it could still crash land into Earth and kill lots of people. So you have the timer going on. And you are, it's superimposed or it's cut with this scene with Liv Tyler, who plays uh, Bruce Willis's daughter, um, Grace. She's in like the NASA control center with Billy Bob Thornton and this and that. So you have all these characters where also it's cut in with everyone, you know, Bruce Willis's friends, his coworkers, you know, they're, they're telling him, push the damn button, push the damn button. The problem is, you know, with it getting closer and closer and hurtling through space, explosions are happening. And Bruce Willis is, of course, knocked off his feet. And he's got to find the trigger. Because that's typical Michael Bay 90s action. I, I fucking love it. And, of course, with it being Bruce Willis, with it being this type of over-the-top action, it's always going to be cut to the last minute. And Bruce finally gets the detonator. And he has to hit it within, like, 10 seconds. Or um, it won't explode you know, you know, safety-wise, uh, away from the from, from the Earth, and you have the, you have the, well, I guess you say the pilot of the space shuttle who's hurtling back to Earth, and um, he's he Harry hasn't hit it yet. Come on, Harry. Harry hasn't hit it yet. Come on. He says, "That's it. We're going back," and they're at a ten-second mark, and this is pure Michael Bay, and I love it. Ten seconds left, and then the 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 pilot says, "Okay, we're going back." Will is it? What's his name? Will. Patton, who was great in this movie too, he tells the guy, hey, hold on, give Harry 10 more seconds, because they don't know, you know, that 10 seconds and it's up, you know, that's the point of no return, so he does that, and of course, Bruce Willis, he grabs it, and you got this, again, pure 90s, either 90s or early 2000s, I don't remember the time, the, the exact year this came out, Michael Bay action, Bruce Willis looks, he's got the trigger, he says, we win, Gracie, Grace, he's his daughter, like I said, hits the, closes his eyes, hits the button, and then boom, we get images of 
bit of Tyler, images of her very, very young. You know, Bruce Willis seeing her, his little girl through his eyes. She's a little girl, she's on a, she's on a swing, you know, attached to the tree, which is pure America. Um, he's vision, seeing visions of her on her wedding day, which he will not make it to. Um, and then it's cut into the asteroid blowing up. You have like, you have amazing special effects of the inside of it shooting up, destroying. And you have this really cool effect of the meteorite itself in space. And then you have like these two clouds breaking it apart into two pieces and of course everyone in nasa is cheering they're talking about how it's going to meet miss like the two chunks are going to miss them by 400 feet because you have earth here and you have one chunk going here one chunk going there the debris is getting blown up in the atmosphere and it's, it's a great death once again bruce willis being the ultimate hero and of course the ultimate hero makes the ultimate sacrifice he knew that if he didn't do this his daughter was dead anyway so he had to take a chance the out what did, what did Spock say the the need to the many outweigh the need to the few he, he did a pure uh, hero's uh, hero sacrifice and I fucking love it and then it ends with Billy Bob Thornton walking up to Liv Tyler and they're they're just embracing because they, they they're sad they know what he's done but he did it for the, the survival of the planet and um, I absolutely love this movie it's so much fun I definitely have to make a video about it sometime soon. But Bruce Willis, like I said, you don't get more American than than Bruce Willis. You know what I mean? Uh, this, uh, you know, uh, Die Hard. So many things that he's done. You, you think of him as an action hero, and as an action hero here, he makes the ultimate sacrifice for not just America, but for the world. And I think it's a great, it's a great death. As bad as that sounds. So that's it. Happy bloody Sunday. Be safe this week. Comment below. Tell me what you think. I'm babbling. If you see this today, later tonight at 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern Central Time, Eastern Standard Time, on Have Cheetah Will View, I will be a guest on that channel, and we're interviewing Adam Marcus, director of one of my all-time favorite horror movies, Jason Goes to Hell. Hope you to see you there. Have a safe July 4th. Be safe. Don't be stupid. Cheers.